Yo! Welcome to my new video. My name is Adam Ivel for those of you that are new here. And today we are going to be working on my Mazda MX-5. Before we start, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. I've got so many project cars. You might be able to see my Nissan Silvia at the back here too. Um, there's going to be something here you'll like, even if it's not the Mazda. So stick around and hopefully you will find some videos on my channel you will enjoy. Today the subject is the Mazda, my little MX-5. I've got to do some track day prep and I have had some new parts arrive. Well, some new parts, a new part. Let, let me grab them and I'll show you what they are. Here they are, my yellow speed coilovers for the MX-5. So the MX-5 here has uh, two broken springs on this side. So it needed coilovers before, well it needed change of suspension before we can get it MOT'd anyway. I spoke to Yellow Speed Europe, we are one of their dealers now, one of their, in part of their network. And they were like, look, we want to kind of help you out with the build. I'm super, super pumped on that. So thank you, Yellow Speed, for sorting me out so fast as well. Um, if anybody's interested in some Yellow Speed coilovers, drop us a message. Sales at 621. We can hook you up. They, their range is massive as well. So uh, let's open them up and check them out. Oh man, they're lovely. They're such a lovely product, Yellow Speed. <sighs> There we have it. Yellow speed shock for the whip. Nice. Stoked. Let's get these on. They're going to go low. Okay, I'm going to start out by doing the back. Got it jacked up. I'm sure you've seen these sort of videos a billion times before. So the main thing is, make sure I don't snap anything. Whew, it's so hot. Like, and look how good this is, man. Good. Is that being back here? Oh, man. I love it so much. My favorite car. Boom. That was a job. Problem is, when you buy cars that have been sat around for so long, everything's just so fucked on them. Bye bye, baby, baby, goodbye. Ah! Boom! First one. Oot. Oot it comes. Look just like that. Just like that, mate. Wow, look at the state of this thing, man. Boy, anyway, I'm gonna get the other side off and put both new rears on. Oh, boy, oh my God, look at that. Spiders, webs, eggs, the lot. Jeez. These are in such a mess, dude, holy crap. These bolts in here are much harder to get to purely because of everything that's in the way. I'm trying to go through the other side. It's just a ball ache, man. I wish I had one of those uh, like motorized ratchet things. That'd be way easier. What I did to get around that was un undo that. Um, so just taking that off briefly. Slide it back on now. So there it is, the snap spring. And I did a drift day on these. <laughs> but yeah, the, the yellow speed should be wicked. I can't wait to test out how they are, but I'm going to copper grease up the rears now. I've got the copper grease somewhere, just there. I'm going to copper grease up the rears, chuck them on. Copper grease, all the bolts have taken off. God, I can't explain how hot it is, man. It's got to be nearly 30 degrees today. Fuck. Finn, shut up. And there we have it, two greased up rear shocks. Now that took me about three minutes a shock to do. So I definitely advise you guys to do that if you are putting new or even second hand suspension on your car. Save you a lot of ball ache in the long run. Anyway, let's uh, get these on. Rear coilovers now on. I just need to double check all the bolts are quite tight. I think they are, but um, I think these ones just need tightening up properly. I haven't done those ones properly, just to buzz them on with a gun. Then we need to make sure we get the coilovers at an even height all round because I've kind of just got them on so I need to measure that all up. I'm hoping I get a text back so I can go pick up my wheels otherwise I have to do that tomorrow. But I'd rather get this done not tonight and all loaded up tonight. So, whew, I am hot man. It is, it is disgustingly hot tonight. But, gotta get this done. Car's life in it. Fucking hell. Shit. Got the car front end up in the air. The front actually looks to be a little bit easier than the rear. The rears are already done, thank God, I've done that already. But, just had a phone call from Nick saying I can go get my wheels off him, so I'm gonna head up there now. 
get the front suspension on, then try and tackle this exhaust, and then I'm basically ready for tomorrow. So, yeah, I need to also swing home and grab a bottle of water because I'm fucking dying. It's so hot, man. It's disgusting. Best thing about Twiregs, by the way, this window. Look at my doggo. He's so happy in the back here, aren't you, baby? Back down Nick's now with Robsy. He's a, he's a pit. All oh, my hands are focused, but you're not. Robsy's a pit. Nick. Yo. I'm coming to get the wheels. So, uh, and then check these on the old Mazda. Sick. We've got to hope they fit over the brakes, man. I've bought spaces down, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But we'll have to, we'll have to pray. Pray, pray, pray for the sieve. Got a few little updates. If it's the, the, the sump is fucking pissing off. It's pissed me right off, as well. Like, got windows in now, got the handles in, got painted up. Sick, they look, man. Side skirts over there, everything else is in the paint bay. Anyway, we're going to get these wheels off and changed up as quickly as possible because Finn is in the back of the car. We need to get him home. Well, there we go. MX5 wheels look the tits on Civics, boy. Right, Nick, thank you. Okay. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you. I'll see you again soon. Wednesday night. Who the fuck is that guy? We're having a little bit of a nightmare getting this front bolt out. I nearly ripped my finger off. <laughs> fuck. Pex now using his henchness to try and get it off before I give up and take the M3 tomorrow instead. <laughs> but, fuck you! We've had to cut all that, look, all the fucking shit spring. But it's out, so now, if we can get the front one on. <laughs> and we've got a Vulcan in, it looks fucking dope. Yeah. Shocks are now all on, but the exhaust is beyond repair. So we're just cutting and ripping and hoping for the best. I oh, still yeah. think it's going to be too loud for this day. Most definitely not. Oh, well. There we go. What the fuck is that? <laughs> one ninety nine. It's like a special one. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to clean it off. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. Look at how low it is. Oh man, it looks so sick on the Volks. Oh my god, boys. Don't hit it hard. <laughs> Mate, it it, look at how dutty low it is. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Definitely could go a bit lower on the rear, but we do need to roll the arches. We'll raise it on the front. <laughs> man, <laughs> this Absolutely stupid rock. Absolutely not. Oh, it looks so good. Just... I reckon it'll catch the line. Right, let's see if it'll. Catch on turning here. They didn't see the bit where the car then he rolled through the shed. Right, well, we're not going to be able to take this on that track day tomorrow. Here you are. on the front as well oh it's so cool oh man it looks gangster man it's definitely not level though is it <laughs> oh yeah it looks okay oh mate how about that 300 quid well it weren't total not totaled it's 300 pound now has it but there yeah, we have it oh i'm buzzing on that shall i take it and just see if we get away with it or not yeah. out here it's not that loud it's not allowed it's fucking Let's get a uh, decibel test on the phone. Let's do that. And that's that. What, what do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Come on, give me a, give me a score out of ten. Peck, what's your score out of ten? It's a solid eight. Eight. I, I, so look, I've, I've just polished up that quarter as well, a little bit, just by hand. And you, it looks so good, man. This car, man, I love it so much. I, oh, mate. It needs a good wash, though. It's yeah, it needs a good wash, but we can speed detail it. No one's going to know. So tomorrow, we send. Pure send. I can't wait. Really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy what the MX-5 looks like now. I think it looks so sick. And I am nervous about the track day because I don't know if we're going to get on because of the noise. But we can hope. Fingers crossed. 
I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner and watch some Love Island because it's the fucking best. I need to be in a group chat for Love Island. I'm not in one yet and I wanna be. But yeah, cool, thanks guys. Give the video a little like. Tom Peck is back as always, so give us a like for Peck. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again next time, hopefully. Peace.